coming to the blood supply of the cerebrum it is supplied by the circle of villus the circle of villus is formed by the basilar artery which is formed by union of two vertebral arteries the basilar artery has number of branches the terminal branches are the two are the two posterior cerebral arteries the right and the left posterior cerebral arteries on the anterior side there are the internal carotid arteries these internal carotid arteries divide into an anterior cerebral artery a posti and a middle cerebral artery it also gives a posterior communicating branch the posterior communicating branch internal carotid artery middle cerebral artery the anterior cerebral arteries the two anterior cerebral arteries they are united to each other by an anterior communicating branch so we have this hexagonal circle at the base of the brain the anterior cerebral artery runs along the medial surface of the brain above the corpus callosum it gives orbital branches frontal branches and parietal branches the middle temporal artery is the largest branch it runs in the lateral sulcus and posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus gives branches to the frontal lobe to the parietal lobe and to the upper part of the temporal lobe of the brain the posterior cerebral artery runs along the tentorial surface of the brain it gives branches to the temporal lobe and it gives branches to the occipital lobe of the brain these branches are the cortical branches of the anterior middle and posterior cerebral arteries besides these they also give central branches which are deep and they supply the deeper structures and they also give choroidal branches which supply the choroid plexus in the ventricles of the brain